Hello and welcome to Thrift Miss, where I'm going to 24 different thrift stores, no repeats, and I'm trying to pull the maximum amount of value out of each thrift store and have everything listed by the end of the video. For this video, I will be going to the CHKD in Williamsburg, Virginia, and my friend Donna is coming with me, who you guys have seen on this channel, uh, to go thrifting for the first time with me. So I'm excited about that, and let's see if I can find anything to flip for profit. Okay, I went and grabbed a cart because I was actually finding stuff, and I just want to show you the pricing at this store. $25 for a pair of Duluth trading jeans. That's what I can get for them on eBay. The same with this pair of Lucky brand jeans. So... Yeah, but you know, it's counteracted by the fact that, yeah, I'm trying to get Donna to come closer to me so I can show you guys. I found Rothy's and they're real. Uh, you can see here they are made in China. Real Rothy's are made in China. The stitching's good, everything's good. I was just floored. We're going through the sleeveless tops that I found, a free people top in my size, in my favorite color. So this is uh, going in the rotation. And I found figs. Figs! I found figs again for the second time and a whole outfit at that for Thriftmas. This is just, Donna's my good luck charm. I hope she wants to go thrifting with me again. <laughs> uh, editing Bob here, I did not realize just how little footage I got in that thrift store until I started editing and that is just because I was enjoying my time with, with my friend Donna. She basically followed me around the entire store and just we talked the entire time. It had been a while since both of us had been together by ourselves. It, it had been at least a couple months. So it was really nice just to spend some time with her. Uh, she was very <laughs> uh, giving with her time. Like I think we spent two hours in the thrift store. So that's all the footage I got from two hours in the thrift store because we were having really good conversations. So that is why there's not a whole lot of footage, but I did have a really good time and I do hope Donna comes back with me just because I found a lot of really good stuff and it was just awesome to spend time with her. So uh, I, I do love my friends. I do love my friends and the fact that they're so supportive of me doing my business and she's amazing. So Donna, if you're watching, thank you very much and I hope to hang out with you again soon. I'm back. I will say that my friend Donna is great luck and I hope she wants to go thrifting with me again. She does watch these videos, so whenever you're down for going with me again, I am down for having you because I do think you brought me some thrifting luck. So let me show you what I picked up at the CHKD and I'm very excited. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is this vintage piece. This measures at like a size large, but it's kind of a little oversized. This is Brenda French. It's made in the USA. It has a size one, which doesn't make any sense. This is mohair, polyamide, which is just polyester and wool. And it is this lovely pastel thing. So I will put pastel, pastel goth, that kind of stuff in the title. It's just like a super warm, super fuzzy sweater and this nice, like pretty much every pastel color you can possibly think of. It's got mint and yellow and blue and t two different types of pink. So I feel like somebody's going to want this and it actually has no holes in it, which is awesome. So I picked this up one because of the style, two because y'all know I love selling vintage and three because the material, uh, merits some value. So there's this. I also picked up a couple of vintage polos. These are women's polos, even though they were in the men's section. I'm going to put them up for sale, see if anybody buys them. If no one buys them, then I will do something else with them that might make them sell. But both of these are a size small. They're made in the USA and they are screen mates, which meant they were meant to be used for silk screening of some sort, either like for a uniform or for some other way, reason, which is why I said I will, I will use them if they don't sell. But they are single stitch. They're single stitch down here at the bottom. They have the nice ringer um, sleeve bands. So I have it in blue and in red. They are a size small. They do fit like a modern size small. So I will put these up and see if anybody wants them, if no one wants them then I will happily do something to them that will hopefully make somebody else want them. 
I also picked up a few dresses. Uh, my friend Donna did get a dress for herself. I will show that over here with her permission. <laughs> it, hopefully she gives me that. Um, she looks lovely in it, but she looks lovely all the time, in my opinion. So she got a dress for herself. She also got a book for herself. I picked up some dresses. <laughs> this is a beautiful dark floral dress. It is vintage from the 90s. Again, the brand doesn't necessarily matter, but I'm showing it to you there. It is a size 14, but it fits like a modern large. It's really actually very nice. It's 100% rayon. It's like a double tier layered here at the bottom. Very beautiful. It looks absolutely gorgeous on the mannequin. Hopefully if someone will want this, I will just put like dark floral, dark academia, that kind of stuff for this. Um, dark floral pretty much draws most people. So hopefully someone will want that. Uh, I did find an athleta dress, which I have never found an athleta dress. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to fit me or I would wear it until it sells. It is a size small, and the reason why I said I don't think it's gonna fit me is because I think it's gonna to be too tight where it's always gonna to be too tight, which would be the shoulders. So I will try it on at some point and see, but it has this nice tie. Again, another dress that looked absolutely beautiful on my mannequin. Karen is putting in more work, but it's a nice paisley, which is why I picked it up. So it's also great colors for fall, winter. So I hope someone will want this. Paisley is also just a great pattern um, in addition to dark floral. So dark floral and paisley uh, are both great patterns in general that those keywords can help sell an item. If the brand's not there, but Athleta is a good brand, so hopefully it'll work. Uh, speaking of a brand I don't find very often, which is Vineyard Vines. And when I say I don't find very often, I don't find it very often where it's not marked up. This is 100% linen. You guys know I love selling linen. This is just a sheath dress with some front patch pockets. Well, they're not patch pockets. They're actually regular pockets. I forgot what this style of pocket is called. I will hopefully put it up somewhere over here if I look it up. But 100% linen, again, something that probably won't sell until it warms up again. But I found a Vineyard Vines dress. Uh, that's actually one that I, also I might be able to wear if it fits me in my shoulders, but it's pink, so it'll just hopefully go to a new home. Now, I'm going to segue to over here. This is something that is going to go into my closet until it sells. This is Free People in a size small. It is green. Um, if you are more diminutive, like again, I'm 5'9", this could possibly be a dress on you, but because I am tall, this is more like it's just a nice long sleeveless top at this point. Uh, but it's in my favorite color, you guys know my favorite color is green. And it's in my size and this does actually fit beautifully. So this will stay here in my closet until it sells. And it's because it's something I really like, it'll probably sell pretty quickly because that's how that always goes for me. I also picked up Georges Briard. I've already talked about Georges Briard in another video for Thriftmas, which I will link up above if you have not seen that. But Georges Briard, it was a really famous and amazing mid-century artist that did a lot of glassware and ceramic. And this is another one of his glassware pieces, his mid-century glassware pieces. I picked this up because a lot of the thrift stores in my area, like 95% of them, if something doesn't sell within a month, it gets smashed and trashed. So I really picked this up in order to find it a new home. If I make a profit, amazing. But as long as this finds a new home and doesn't get smashed and trash, that's also part of why I pick this up. So if this doesn't sell quickly, I'm okay with this. I just do not want a piece of American history to get thrown in the landfill. Hey, nice to see you again so soon. I, I was doing research to list this George Briard piece and I've realized that it actually is a chip and dip set. So I found the place for the chips, but I did not find the um, glass that would have been for the dip. So I found half of a set. It's still a beautiful plate, still totally usable, but it is supposed to have a cup that goes in that little center divot. So I learned something new and hopefully it'll still sell for me. 
but I, f I figured I'd share that information with y'all because I do recommend picking up George Briard, so I wanted to give that information so you are also more informed if you decide to pick it up for yourself. I'm also keeping something. I may resell it when I'm done with it, but I picked up the, these are brand new. They have not been read. So I picked up um, number one and number two of Banana Fish. Banana Fish is a BL uh, series that was done in the 80s to the early 90s. It has gained regained popularity and has been reprinted in, and translated into English. And it's something that I've been wanting to read because of TikTok. <laughs> so the fact that I found the first two books in brand new condition, I'm going to pick them up. They did have like giant grease pencil on the back, but as you can see, it's all gone. So it does still, it's it's not been redrawn. Um, it is still in the original 80s style. A couple of really popular uh, manga have been redrawn or updated in style. Fruits Baskets is one. Bleach is another one that is getting a revamp. Uh, but these are the original from the 80s and 90s. So I'm interested to read this. It is a 19 volume set. If I like this, I might get the rest of them. If it's just a meh, I will let these move on to a new home when I am done reading them. But because I'm going to keep Banana Fish until I resell it, despite the fact I am going to resell it, uh, Donna actually had given me this uh, to resell. This is from her own personal closet. She doesn't want it anymore. It is a Under Armour. It is a women's size large because she is blessed in the chest, <laughs> unlike me. <laughs> So she is no longer using this because she can't run anymore due to her own health struggles, which I have my own, so we definitely talk about that a lot. But it does have thumb holes, which I thought was super cool, and I'm very grateful that she decided to give this to me, Donna. Thank you very much. So that will allow me my own time to read Banana Fish and still put something else up for sale that will offset the cost of those two pieces of manga. And excitingly, I found figs again. So I went from, you know, learning about figs, I think a year and some change ago, like anxiously looking for it for like six months and not finding it to like, now I found it twice in basically two weeks, which is awesome. So I found both the bottoms and the top. The top is downstairs in the dryer. <laughs> I took um, I took photographs of these already, but uh, it's just downstairs. I don't know why it's separated, but I found both the top and the bottom. They're both a size small. They're in this seafoam color. And these are still the technical collection, but this is not the joggers. This is just the straight leg. Uh, the top is the same as the one I found in the navy, but it's not brand new with tags. So I found a full set, so I'm selling the set together. And hopefully well, someone will pick these up. So it went from never finding figs to finding it twice because I decided to look again. So, you know, it just goes to show maybe you should just not give up. <laughs> like if you if there's something you're really hoping to find, just keep looking. It doesn't hurt to look and maybe you'll find it. Uh, I did find some vintage shorts. It's not short season, but again, we're trying to pull the maximum amount of value of each store. So I'm looking in every section. Uh, I did find a pair of breaker jeans. This is a vintage brand. This is made in the USA. I'm pretty sure, no, this is made in Guatemala, but this is rigid denim. So there's no stretch in these and they are the mom short. So it's high-waisted. It does have a five inch inseam, which is really nice and it's bright red. Um, the only flaw in this is that the leather patch has, it's basically just brown. There's there's nothing that says breaker jeans on it anymore. It's it's gone. But I found these and they, uh, it says a junior size nine, but when I did measurements, I think the measurements were like a size 26. So I put those up, see what happens. In addition to that, uh, I didn't just find one, I found two pairs of 5'11 tactical cargo pants. One of them is flawed. So I think it is this one, yes. So they're both the same size. They are both a size 36, 30. This one is flawed. 
Um, here on the left leg, it has uh, some light ink staining on one pocket. And then here on the leg, the other one is perfect. So I price these accordingly to that. Uh, 511 is not the brand it used to be as far as how much you could get for it on eBay, but it's still a good bread and butter brand. Um, if I can get it for cheap enough and both of these actually were not marked up compared to some of the other prices you guys saw there. So I definitely picked those up. And what I'm liking about actually going back into the scrub section is one finding figs, uh, <laughs> for the first time, but I'm also learning some other um medical brands that might be worth picking up and medical brands i mean as in like scrubs i'm not talking about medical equipment i want absolutely nothing to do with that but i looked up comps for this brand this is metalita i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly but it seemed to have similar comps to figs these do actually feel really nice they're like the other uh the figs i picked up where it just has a straight bottom these are not the joggers the joggers are more in style right now but these are size large and they're just a regular blue color so i listed these and we'll see if these sell well or not but i i found a new brand that might be worth it just like the janu i will list them and hope i also picked up this this is uh visla which is on and off again a decent brand Sometimes it sells well and has decent sell through. Sometimes it doesn't, it's, you know, trends are like this. So I picked these up cause I thought they were super cool. They have these neat little geometric circles. Uh, it is a good size. It's a 36, which is average for dude waist. It has this nice contrasting pocket on the back. I just thought that these were a nice pair of swim trunks. And so hopefully someone else will think the same and buy them from me but that's why I pick those up. Uh, I do like to source shorts in the winter. This also like, I like to source sweaters in the summer because those are the areas that people are normally not looking. Uh, so they're not picked over and you can find some really cool stuff that way. I also found some jeans and these are uh, Adriana Goldschmidt and they are the Farah high or the Farah skinny ankle. I know skinny jeans are supposedly on the outs, but I still see tons of people wearing them, especially the raw hem. So I picked these up cause I did look up comps and comps were there for me. And I had literally just seen like, I went to target, which was a mistake at this time of year. Cause I needed to get an ironing board since my steamer is waiting to be cleaned to see if it's dead or if I, need, if I need to buy a new one. But yeah, I saw like literally five women wearing skinny jeans with a raw edge. So they're out, but they're still being worn. Fashion is a made up concept uh, that is ever changing. So unless you have an indispensable income, it is best just to wear what you like. And then the bestest thing I found which I was shocked is I found Rothy's for the second time ever. And these are legit Rothy's. They are, these are an eight and a half. Uh, this is the flat. The flat is this round toe and it's just a regular ballet flat. These are an eight and a half, which I was excited about because I'm actually hoping that one day I'll find a pair of Rothy's that are my size. My actual shoe size is an eight and a half and Rothy's are a half size smaller. So this is the first time I've had my true size to try on to see if that's true. It is true. I do need a nine in these, which is great because I can sell these. And these are legit Rothy's. The stitching inside is correct. These are also, as I showed you in the video, hopefully you guys can see this made in China. And it doesn't just say made in China in here. It also says made in China on the insole as well. So they have a matching cloth tag on both and the points do not touch the circle. So these are real Rothy's. Um, they are not a retired print. This is something you can buy on the website now if you'd like to for $129. I could not believe that's how much these actually cost. Um, so because they're a regular print that 
you can still get. Um, they don't sell for hundreds of dollars. Some of the retired Rothy styles and colorways can sell for that. It is actually crazy that that happens. But these are selling for around uh, 40 to $60, just depending on the size and the condition. So super excited to find Rothy's for the second time. I also found Rothy's at the Dab in Williamsburg once. And just like with the CHKD, they did not know the brand, so they did not mark them up. So this was amazing to find for, as you guys saw, $7. I'm so excited about that. So Donna, thank you for going with me. I do feel like you were good luck and I'm really happy with what I picked up. It wasn't a huge haul this time, but I do feel really happy with the solid pieces I picked up. I paid $114 for everything. So if I sell the Rothy's, I get half of my money back, which would be great. And then I can just have, hopefully, uh, money rolling in for the rest of it. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Till then, bye.